Now for more, visit our new and improved website at ILTV.TV and make sure to subscribe to our newsletter for daily updates. Another ruse, what's going on with the latest coronavirus updates? Joining us now to discuss is Professor Nadav Davidovich, Director of the School of Public Health in Ben Gurion University. Professor, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Good evening. All right. So what is going on now? Israel is getting vaccinated, but we're still talking about a stricter shutdown on the way? Indeed, uh, very uh, sensitive times right now. We have an ex extremely successful max uh, mass vaccination campaign because of the infrastructure of the four excellent nonprofit uh, sick funds we have in Israel. Uh, Israel also secured the vaccines. But uh, it's still uh, some time until it will take uh, to get into herd immunity or at least covering uh, the elderly and the high risk. And meanwhile, we have, uh, unfortunately, because of uh, lack of success in uh, preventing mass gathering, uh, also uh, testing those returning from red countries like uh, Dubai. Uh, so all of this is uh, creating a very difficult reality where we have a... Uh, um, very many, many people that are infected. And uh, in the coming weeks, we need to see how to prevent mass gathering. Uh, I don't support uh, entering into a lockdown, but uh, um, we still uh, need to see how to uh, improve uh, also the testing and uh, preventing a uh, loss of life. Because, uh, you know, it's like a football match that you are in overtime and uh, you cannot get, uh, you know, a, a score, I mean, why? All right, well, according to Defense Minister Benny Gantz, the school systems are actually the most important to keep open in these times of crisis. Do you believe he's correct? I think that the uh, schools should be open. The question is uh, how. Uh, schools should be open, especially uh, for uh, the young kids in kindergarten. It's important for their development, uh, both uh, mentally, emotionally, uh, and in terms of uh, those in uh, high school, we need to see how to continue maybe in a hybrid uh, option. Uh, of course, in places that are red uh, or orange, uh, uh, unfortunately, they need to be at home. Uh, but uh, I'm very uh, frustrated that we didn't uh, improve our protective education uh, system. It's a plan uh, using uh, uh, pooling. Uh, some of the schools joined, including uh, the one of my... Uh, younger son who is in eighth uh, grade. Uh, if uh, more schools were entering this program, uh, it could be, we could be now in a better situation to control. It's not only about lockdowns, it's also about improving uh, testing and uh, operating in a more differentiated way. All right, now, if, if we continue vaccinating at the rate that we've been vaccinating and we stay first in the world per capita, uh, you know, does that mean that we won't need restrictions for much longer, you know, and how does that play out with, uh, with the lack or the, the dwindling stock of vaccines? So uh, there are different stages in the mass vaccination campaign. First of all, we need to cover all the elderly and high risk uh, groups. Uh, this will mean that uh, later in a few weeks, we're going to see less severe cases and less number of uh, deaths that are rising right now. Uh, in order to get uh, into herd immunity or population immunity, as I prefer to call it, uh, we need uh, probably more than 80%. This is the current number. Also, Professor Anthony Fauci was mentioning even 90%. This will be very, very hard to get there, and it will take uh, some time. I hope that we can secure the rest of the vaccines from Pfizer, that they see us as a better sure. site uh, to see how mass vaccination is operating. All right, Professor Davidovich, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.